Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. And today we are bobbing. We're going with the bob with a beautiful highlight, of course, making it super safe and brown girl friendly with the dark root. I did go ahead and opt for baby hair, but of course you guys know you don't have to at all because the hairline was absolutely beautiful. So today we are talking about something new and different. As I mentioned, this one did come from Hair Vivi, and you guys know I love, 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 love that soap. But they gave me something very revolution. This is actually actually a revolutionary upgrade in the game, and it's called True Scalp Tape. They did offer me two um, colors in this. This one here is too dark for my complexion, so I used the lighter option. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video, and we're gonna switch the head or the wig to the mannequin head, and you're gonna see me install the true tape in the parting, and also style the ends of the hair before I install. Then you'll also see the install as well. So if you're interested in all the details, all the tea, and all of that, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, Hair VB always comes through with an amazing package. This is the wig here, and we're going to go straight to the wig head. She said as a center part, but this is a three-part lace wig. You can part it on the side and the center, however you want. Inside of the package, you have all of these goodies, which I'll show in just a moment. And this is the dust bag. I'm loving the taupe color. This here is a free gift. It was a letter A necklace that you'll see me wear at the end of the video. Now, this is the technology here. This is True Scalp Tape. They gave me mocha and cappuccino, and they are two different tapes that are going to go on the parting line to pretty much make it look perfect. No fake scalp needed. This is all you'll need. It's multicolor HD lace, and it's just a new way of pretty much making it innovative to customize your wigs and make them perfect. So as you guys seen, I went with the lighter shade and you literally just peel it off like tape. I'm going to apply it directly to the center where the parting is. Be sure to choose where you want yours to go. If you want it to go as a side part, a center part, a curved part, just make sure that it's exactly where you want it to be and you just lay it down and you're good to go. And as you guys can see, this is what it looks like on the wig head once you apply the True Scalp Tape. I'm going to continue my customizations and pretty much just prep the wig while it's still on the wig head. I love how the wig is already customized and ready to go. The hairline was pre-plugged. You don't have to bleach the knots, tint the lace, nothing. So all I did was added a little bit of my wax stick from BDECBD.com and used our electric hot comb to go ahead and smooth out the parting space. Next, I'm going to take my Babyless flat iron on the highest setting in a rat tail comb and pretty much just soak it out and bump the ends. I really want to make sure that this one is super straight and there's no crimps in the back and it has the perfect light bump at the end to really set off this bob. So now that the wig is styled and pretty much ready to go, let's go ahead and put her on. This is the inside construction of the cap and just the way the wig looks with the true scalp tape. They did provide the non-slip elastic band. This is going to help the wig to fit nice snug fit. It doesn't fit loose or baggy or anything like that. So if you want to wear the wig glueless, you'll definitely be able to do so. Here is what the wig looks like from the back. The highlight is done so perfect. It's very gradient, so it's not too blunt. So it looks very natural and like a salon quality effect. And of course, it sets it off with the dark root for us brown girls who really just want to make you look a little bit more natural. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. And as you guys can see, the lace blends with my scalp and my skin effortlessly. You have the option to leave like a little bit of extra lace near your sideburn. And this is going to help to give the sideburn look. Or you can cut it to make it flush behind the ear. If you want to wear the wig glueless, I would pretty much recommend you cut that little piece off so that it just goes directly behind the ear because the lace in front already fits flat enough that you don't have to bond it down. We were going to Sesame Place on this day, Sesame Place San Diego, which the kids did have a blast. So I wanted to make sure I bonded mine down because we did roller coasters and we also were going to get in the water. I just apply a non-glue adhesive from Eben and I just blow dry on a cool setting until it is bonded down and that really just melted the lace exactly how I needed it. I repeated the steps on both sides and then we were good to go. So today I opted for baby hair. I just love the look of baby hair in general. So I just did two swoops around the arch of the eyebrows as well as the swoop um, for the sideburns. And I just added a little swoop in between the two because it was a little bit um, like blank or plain if you will. And that came out perfect. 
Here I'm just curling the baby hair away from the face. I'm going to use the edge control from bdagbeauty.com and you just apply your edge control at the base and kind of just drag the rest of the product through to keep it a little bit more on the fluffy side and not to like mold it down to your face. You kind of want fluffy baby hair opposed to like slick and sleek baby hair and the key is just literally to just put the product at the root and not all the way through the hair. Now that we're done, I'm just going to add a few final touches, just going in with the electric hot comb to make sure everything is super straight and sleek and melted and just everything is flat and flawless. Overall, this was a great experience. I'm going to set it off with my melt belt. This is going to help to bond it down, leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and we are good to go. Okay, love bugs. So we are done with the look and look how beautiful and nice and professional this looks looks. I even wore the necklace they provided. It's so cute. It's like gold and then it has like an A on it for Ashley. So I love and appreciate this company. Hair Vivi always does me right. And the wig itself literally was the gift the icing on the cake um i am headed to sesame place the infamous sesame place san diego here in california my husband loves me in a bob you guys already know that so he's gonna like this one and i like the fact that it adds a little bit of color but keeping it safe with the dark root you guys know i'm into a baby hair look so i did a baby hair and i did sideburns the sideburns here are gonna look good when i have to go ahead and push the hair behind my ear but i don't want to crimp it more than I did during doing my makeup. As far as the actual parting goes, you guys seen they had a new technology going on. I love taupe. Taupe has always been like one of my favorite like colors. Like when I buy a house, the vibe downstairs, like in the living space, is gonna have a lot of taupe resort vibe. That gold to accent accented, and it did have like the champagne tan nude color ribbon around the box when I first unboxed it. Um, purchase your milk belt from bdagbeauty.com, shameless plug. So the technology that we use today is called True Tape Scalp. And they, they did give me some notes because this is new to me. It basically is like no fake scalp needed. Um, and then also it's really nice because they offer two different choices in my box. I believe they have maybe one more lighter color than what I got. So as you guys can see, this one here is closer to my complexion, but it's almost or it is darker than my complexion. And your parting typically is like a shade or two lighter or your scalp is a shade or two lighter so I went with the lighter option I think that was great I did not add any powder or concealer yet to anything I wanted to show you guys what it was and it literally is like a piece of tape I'm going to keep this one so I don't want to open it but you guys seen just open this up and then you have this basically like skin tape or true tape here and you just peel it and then you apply it to the parting if you're going to move your parting be sure to move your parting before you add it so that like when you're wig is inside out on the mannequin head you can see like that parting and you can lay it over top now it is thicker than the parting so if you want to like like if i wanted to readjust my parting the tape here goes probably from about here to here so i'm able to move it over if my parting is a little bit more crooked but if i wanted to go for a side part i would have to move that tape and risk um you know making it imperfect by keep on like lifting it and reapplying it because it is like tape or you know a sticker or anything like that where you can kind of mess up the adhesive by keep but if you continue to re-stick it so these are silicone stickers and so um they basically are letting us know that typically there's usually only one one color or one option for silicone stickers and typically it's like a very light pale one and so they're basically making a revolutionary upgrade by offering two colors which is absolutely amazing and a lot more versatile especially for um african-american women who or even just darkest skin tones in general who would want to utilize this and it's cool because you can use it or you cannot use it but i love to have the option you can definitely go for a deeper side part Part, as this one is a 13 by 6 you can also do sideburns and also it does have that elastic band in there that is adjustable which is keeping the wig snatched for today since we are um you know going to a water park just in case my lace gets you know melted wet lifts and all that i have that extra extra grip in there and i'm sorry i'm looking at the um notes that they left me because it's good to be able to um give you guys all of the material as i can but as far as the actual wig goes you guys already know some of my favorite quality wigs are from hair bb um 
And I don't just say that, but like when I use a hair BB wig, it always holds up the kids, always holds up. A lot of people have been doing the highlight colors, and so I'm happy I was able to get something with the vibe, even though I do this all the time, because um, I've been feeling it itching. I think TikTok has inspired me to want to do like the highlight. Everybody's been doing like, the tape-ins and the clip-ins with color, and you guys know that's really not my thing, so to be able to... Um, you know, catch the vibe and, you know, send it back when I'm tired of it. And get, not send it back, but, you know, switch it out when I am tired of it. This is what it looks like from the back. I'm going to definitely go in and rebump the ends because I've been doing makeup and testing with the kids. But it's the perfect length where it's a bob, but it's not too short. Like, i got to go ahead and put it in a low ponytail or a low bun, especially for today's festivities. I'll be able to do so. But, yeah, I don't want to talk you guys to death. I think I've already been talking for way too long. So be sure to check out the description box for details, lists, links, everything you need, especially a direct link to this wig and all of the details, density, and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!